How's it going, folks? Today, we're going to be talking about the top five reasons why I think you should be considering the MK6 GTI. That is the 2010 to 2014 model. And uh, full disclosure, this particular one is mine. And because of that, I've got about 50,000 miles on the clock where I can speak to experience. And uh, considering where used car prices are right now, um, I think there's an awesome deal to be had. So if you're even considering a GTI, you got to watch this. All that being said, let's get right to it. So the first reason I think you should consider an MK6 GTI really has to do with an adult reason, if I'm being honest, it's gas mileage. This car saves me so much in gas. I mean, I've owned it now for three, four years. In that amount of time, I really haven't spent that much on gas. I mean, it averages right around 28 to 30 on the MPG on the um, freeway. And uh, just through town, I mean, you're doing let's call it 21, 22 miles a gallon. So really, really good. All right, so reason number two, quite simply put, look at the interior on this and specifically look at the seats. Notice that these are leather. This is a driver's edition, which is great. So it comes with the leather because of that. But more special than that is the shape of these seats. The bolstering on here I mean, look at that, that's my hand. It swallows up my hand. And the same here on the sides. I mean, look how deep that is. That's pretty awesome because it means that it's gonna hold you snug while you're driving around those corners. On top of that, and my driver's seat's a good example of this, you can see that I am sitting really low to the car. That is so key to feeling sporty because when you have a seat that won't go to the floor, it feels like you're driving on top of the car, not you're driving in the car. This seat nails it perfectly. It's an awesome feeling seat. Not to mention that, you know, you do have safety, right? These have got airbags built in and you do have manual and some automatic adjustability. I mean, what more can you ask for in terms of those seats? Now, one more thing I wanna point out, this is the back seat. And yes, I got a kid's seat in the back, but look, I mean, this is a lot of room for a rear seat. And because I have a kid seat in there, also pay attention to the fact that this door right here, this angle is, it's like 80 degrees. That makes it so I can put things like a giant car seat in very easily. I mean, hard to, hard to complain about that. Reason number three, this TSI 2.0 turbocharged motor. This thing is basically Volkswagen's workhorse. They've put this motor in everything. And sure, it had some kinks and issues in the beginning, but they've really sorted them all out. I mean, and there's plenty of YouTube channels that have done reviews on this car. And I found a lot of their reviews to be sort of trying to sway you away from buying this car. And I just think that doesn't make any sense at all. For example, you know, yeah, this induction piece, if it does fail, it's expensive. There's a PCV valve here that should be changed out every so often. And there is a pulley that does fail on the earlier cars, but Volkswagen fixed a lot of that. And even if they didn't, you could work on this car yourself and fix it relatively easily. For me, based on today's cars and the technology and how fast it's moving, you can't really do anything to cars today. But on this, you can. And so for me, I think that's a huge plus. So reason number four why I love the MK6 GTI. 
look at it. I think it's a great looking car. And not just a great looking car for back in 2010, I think it's a great looking car today, both inside and out. So to me, and I know that's a subjective thing, but I think it's aged really, really well. And when I look at the new model, it's about to come out the MK8. To me, that looks a little bit like a sad dog. You guys tell me what your thoughts are on the MK8 down in the comments below. So reason number five, why you should love the MK6 GTI. Quite simply put, it is a ton of fun to drive. How can you turn your back on that? This thing gives you so many thrills. You just have to go find a road and allow yourself to enjoy it. The shifting's great. The engine note's pretty good. Um, the chassis feels tight and composed. Um, more importantly, that engine, it feels eager and willing. And to me, that's more than half the battle right there. So find me a better car feel for that price. Okay guys, so that pretty much wraps up my top five reasons why I love the MK6 GTI. Really a phenomenal practical car that you can live with every day and really enjoy driving. Prices right now are between eight grand and 15K depending on condition and mileage. But if you're at all interested in a GTI, I mean, honestly, go drive one. It'll speak to you or it won't. In any case, if there's any questions or anything that can help clarify, please go ahead and put your questions down below. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and uh, hit that little bell notification to see my next video. Uh, make sure that it actually shows up on your suggestion list. All right, folks, that's all the time we got. I hope you're all safe and sound. Catch you on the next one.